Hello, <clears throat> and welcome back to Cave of the Cud. We're doing something new today. Well, first of all, we're, we're at Eid Freehold. Um, I'm going to drop off a bunch of stuff just right away. Um, what we're doing today is um, <clears throat> we're going to go to the Moon Stair. I've never officially been to the Moon Stair. So uh, I've been there unofficially a few times. Let's just drop off all this stuff. And we'll drop off that spacer rifle. I like to keep uh, cybernetic credit wedges on me. <clears throat> we'll drop off one nano nero animator. Oh, we should tumble tumble these gems. I'm gonna tumble these gems. I'm tired. I'm tired of these gems going untumbled. You know. What do we got in here? We got one gem. But we're going to go to the moon stair. Uh, I'm going to try my best to level up. But I guess we're not going to be fighting all that much. So uh, I don't know how much I'm trying to level up. Throw all those gems in there. Goodbye, gems. Um, but yeah, I, I did a little bit of math. Uh, <laughs> no, I know, right? I, I, I put it any effort in. <clears throat> and uh, on our next level, level 39... We should get one attribute point to spend, which kind of sucks. I was kind of hoping we would uh, be able to... Um, we would just get plus one to all attributes pretty soon, but that's... It's a bit farther for that one. We'd have to be level 42, I believe. Or no, actually 41, I think. No, 42. It's 42. So it's a bit of a bummer. Um, so we're going to go to the Moonstair. We're going to go to... Uh, whatchamacallit, Ain Raj. Now, uh, I do notice there's a couple of ways we could go about that. I actually feel like the easiest way would be to go... Uh, it's very cheesy. Very, very cheesy. But we could go through the mountains and then just go straight east from the mountains. Um, Let's, let's do that. I mean, the, it's not like Moonstair is going to provide much challenge for us anyway because we're friends to, like, the most dangerous creatures. So let's just go ahead and equip our pickaxe and uh, set it as our primary. I think we get dig. Do we get dig? Yeah, it's F3. Um, and then we'll just go east until we hit the moon stair. Hello, uh, the hermit. <clears throat> I'm afraid if you if you if you mean any me any harm, then you're not long for this world. So we go east. We have uh, oh, quite a few baddies on this floor, actually. Not like dangerous baddies, but you know, we've got juicing can. Apparently, the can not juicing cannibals, just regular cannibals. Apparently, we're on good terms with cannibals. Didn't choose this. I didn't ask for this, but it is it is what it is. Um, we got some snap jaws. But yeah, I, I think I will end up spending our attribute point on intelligence. Um, I think that willpower is potentially a better spend of it. But the thing is, is that we actually have enough willpower that I don't think an extra point is really going to make a big difference. Um, you could, you know, I would love to hear in the comments uh, as to, you know, your thoughts on it. But like I've said in the past, I'm not in a big rush to get to, uh, ooh, whoa. Uh, these must be pariah. Yeah, they're pariah. That means there's a legendary pariah here. Who's the legendary? It's the... Is that a mechanimist pariah? Oh, no, they're just mechanimists. Uh, what do you got? Hated by the Gersh. Loved by pariahs. Hated by the villagers of Deshur. Um, I think I have to destroy you, actually. I'm sorry. Uh, how's our pariah rep? It's kind of fluctuated up and down. Oh, we're totally good with pariahs. Uh, wait a minute. Sorry. Not a pariah. Keep, keep... Oh, no. Yes. Yes, a pariah. I, I thought maybe they weren't a pariah, but they are, in fact, a pariah. So we're going to go ahead and um, assassinate this lad. They've got a very good reputation that I have to... Uh, I, I must gain. Uh, I would like to have Gersh rep. It would be helpful. It'll be a useful tool that'll come in handy later, you know? They've got burgeoning. I, I think that's honestly the scariest thing they've got going on for them. 
We lose a little bit of pariah rep. We gain a little bit of Gersh rep. They are now indifferent to us. We gain some Deshur rep. Honestly, the worst part about this is having to fight um, a twinling. I'm just going to go ahead and temporal fugue and then run away. Let my clones deal with that. One of them lost their geomagnetic disc. Well, that was a nice find in the middle of the mountains. I'm cool with that. But yeah, like, um, in terms of like our situation regarding the golem, uh, the reason I'm, I'm, I'm prioritizing level uh, 29 intelligence is because I am a little bit tired of waiting on uh, Tinker 3 and it's like actually going to become vital for the, the golem we need Nanon. Um, there's other ways of doing this. Like we could, you know, get parts from creatures in any number of ways, but I'm choosing to use Nanon because it's fun. Um, I'm actually thinking what I'd like to do. I, I have a little bit of a surprise in mind for how uh, or what I'm going to apply Nanon on. But yeah, I, I, I would like to do that. Um, so that's how we're going to do it. Um, I, I think it's it is a bit of a waste throwing a point on intelligence, you know, but that that 29 intelligence just gates way too much progress right now so you know forgive me um this is going pretty well so far i'll make a i'll program a recoiler Ooh, psychic presence or into this land huh where Ooh, a kraken uh, an extra dimensional kraken I don't know. They might just leave the tile. They seem to be doing some fun stuff. There, there's an entire wall between me and them. Ironically, well, maybe not so ironically. Uh, Krakens are one of the few things that could actually just like walk straight towards me. Uh, but they don't seem super interested in doing so. I don't know if, um, I can't remember if Psychic, you know what, I'm going to look this up right now, but I can't remember if Psychic Assassins have a chance to give us, um, Permanent Ego. I'm pretty sure they don't. I'm not sure though. Glimmer, um, Glimmer Thralls, Psychic Esper Hunter Generation. Uh, oh, okay, hold on. Glimmer. No, that just tells us how what the odds are of encountering a hunter. Uh, when the player defeats a hunter, there's a 10% chance to absorb their ego. That says uh, that's a hunter. I guess uh, assassins are still hunters, so it's just a, a, a bigger version of the same thing. Um, so I don't think that they have a better or worse chance. I think it's the same chance, just a little bit harder to defeat. So I'm just deciding to, uh, use Sundermind from across the tile to, to, to kill this lad. Um, they don't seem to have much defense against it. We could just do it with our, uh, clairvoyance. They are wounded. They're taking like the full brunt of our attack. Boop, 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 boop. We're not, uh, okay, they're badly wounded. Getting there. I love this so much. This is just like so absurdly good. Boop, 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 boop. And destroyed. We got a thousand XP for that. Not bad. I don't think we're going to get anything for killing livid creepers. Uh, I love killing livid creepers. Y'all know that. But like, are we going to get anything? Yeah, we don't. Uh, livid creepers are no longer worth any XP to us now. We are like very close to being completely indestructible. 
we're we're very close to that moon stair surface here we go okay so where are we yeah we're like a couple of tiles uh west of ein raj i have not officially heard this theme song i've heard it in other people's playthrough so i'm very excited for this oh that that is our series first official chrome pyramid first official chrome pyramid you've heard me talk about them a lot but we've never actually seen one and there it is and fortunately we are on good terms with them but good lord you know um we're on okay terms with everything except for the dream crun crungle oh why would you why would you break through you have so many ways of getting there why would you break through the glass we have to get rid of the pickaxe right away um let's go ahead and re-equip our copper plated thingy and set stinger as a i'm a, i'm a little bit curious about our dream crungle here i've never actually done anything with these chat refuses to speak from you uh, with you like we could destroy it not sure what dream crungles do and probably just like fighting something that you have no knowledge of is oh okay they have a beam attack um i don't know what that did crungling gaze huh i won't lie that's sounds scary and you know I, I was just talking in the last episode about how uh how i don't like beams that charge they are generally speaking some of the most dangerous stuff in the game um okay what do we got we got a gersh thingy who's the, what is this gersh lad gyre white apotheot i love this music so much I want this, uh, like, I want the sound wave of this theme song engraved on my tombstone. It's, it's probably my favorite theme in the entire game. It's just so, I don't know. It, like, um, you know, the term synth wave is thrown around a lot these days. But like I I I feel like synthwave is almost completely played out. But this has got some like really truly original kind of synthwavey uh, vibes that I really like. There's also something very like epic about it. Another term that we've heard too often, you know. These are not terms that I enjoy using, but like I think they're uh, accurate. But yeah, um, it, it feels like the kind of music you hear in your head when you're like walking up a staircase to meet freaking biblically accurate uh, cyber Satan, you know, like it's just insane. Vast animus. We love it. We love to see it. Where are they? They are way over there. Um, let's go ahead and just boop, 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 boop. Oh, there's a lot of fun stuff going on over there. I don't know if we get the potentially get the ego from Sundering Mind. We get the credit. I feel like the the real tell is if we get the XP, we should we do get the credit and that means we have a chance to get the ego. Okay, they're dead. We did get the XP. We got some Gersh. These are, um... Some, uh, confusing... Confusion Gersh. I, I do really appreciate that Gersh have a... Much more of a presence in, in Cud now. Um, for being such a, a very large part of the series, they have really had shockingly little uh, presence in the full world so it's nice it's nice that we they, they finally get a chance to uh 
breathe. I think we're getting kind of close. What is that yellow streak? Is that anything? Oh, we're not even close to Ein Raj. Well, we're, we're about halfway there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, this is the toughest thing about Moonstair is navigating it. We got a Dream Krungle. I don't know if these are worth any XP. Oh, 900 XP. We should be killing those. Can we sunder their mind? No, we can't. Apparently, Dream Krungle, um are very good XP. Considering how easy they are to kill, for me anyway, I don't know how difficult they are normally, uh, I feel like it's something I will be taking advantage of considering I was just talking about how we need the XP to hit Tinkering 3. So it's funny, Tinkering 3 really has been like the biggest gate for us to pass. Um... I would like clairvoyance just to see if there's any dream crungle here. Doesn't look like it. Well, I guess the easiest way to tell is to just look at the mini map because that'll show us. Um, that'll show us uh, red blips. Any red blips? No red blips. No tortoises yet. Ooh, chrome pyramid to our east. As much as I, you know, we are on good terms with uh, robots. And by the way, that was why I went to such lengths to become friends with <laughs> robots is because I didn't want to have to deal with them uh, in the moon stair. Ooh, we almost got dream crungled there. Really don't know what happens there. It could be the most dangerous thing of all time. So I will go to efforts to make sure it doesn't happen. I love the foliage in uh, Moonstair. There's something about it. It's like everything is made out of crystals, you know? Even the leaves. Okay, we are on the correct tile for uh, Ein Raj. We could cheese it, but I'm not going to. Ah, here's our first tile with uh, tortoises. We don't really want to encounter the tortoises. They are the one thing that would actually cause us some, a small amount of um, hardship. I notice these Gershling are actually cool with us. Polarized Gershling. Don't know about that one. That's a first. Okay, we are very close to Anraj. We should be like next screen, basically. Here we go. There we, we've done it. We are here. I won't be walking in any uh, warm static, by the by. I don't even really feel good about auto exploring this tile. Oh, you know what? Here. That works. Uh, unfortunately, there's not really a clean way of getting there. We could, like, pickaxe our way in. Why don't we do that? I think this is okay to break through. Crystalline trunk. When- why are we- why are we- Never mind. I have a- I have a couple of whys in mind I sure hope this is okay generally people uh, saying uh, generally speaking most people are okay with you digging into their home the other method would be to just like uh collect the warm static and then like place it somewhere else all right, hello, friend. Maybe? Chiming rock burns in soft light. What are you? Touch the chiming rock. 
and seek me at the Keter. Will you? What does that mean? Silent and still. Touch the chiming rock and attune to Chava. Chava. You touch the chiming rock. White noise carries on a distant wind. You have anything to trade? No. Live and drink. Okay, I believe that means we now have sight on uh, the specific uh, to Chava, um, which is a roaming settlement, if you didn't know. Uh, but before we do anything, I am going to go ahead and make ourselves a programmable recoiler. Uh, this will be a one we want to come back to, I think. So let's go ahead and uh, install, in install a nuclear cell and print. And then I'm even going to mod that one so that it's slender. Um, let's mod it with willowy. We've got a lot of AI microcontrollers, not a lot of metacrystals. Okay, so now I believe if we leave, we will have the location of iron, uh, of, sorry, um, whatchamacallit? Maramu Retrovision. Is that just a ruin? Karakish. The roaming Keter uh, of Chava, Tree of Life. I don't know how long it takes for it to, um, change locations. I feel like the quickest way to get to it would be to recoil to uh, Eid Freehold and then walk over. Um, certainly, it would be the quickest way in real time, but in-game it would be about the same distance. So, we may as well do it this way. Let's go to Eid Freehold. And then leave... It seems to still be there. So now we will enter here. Um, making sure, yeah, we don't really want to mess around too much in the deep jungle. Not that there's anything super dangerous here. I just don't want to. We've got life saps. Apparently, I've been here before. Okay, that's that's working out just fine. Let's now... Uh, I think we're about to enter the moon stair. Yep. Back, back in the sauce. Uh, no bad blips on the screen, but not a good screen, I must say. Dawning Ape is uh, fighting a zero gel. The lair of the legendary chrome pyramid, huh? Well now, well now. <laughs> well now. <laughs> Should we make a pit stop? Uh, 6300 XP just for finding this place. I can't imagine anything more disastrous <laughs> uh than this location we've got gal gals we've got several different mech types oh there's a lot of things on the screen that doesn't like us oh okay hold on mostly it seems like all of the robots are okay with us it's just a, there's a lot of plants on the screen the thing i care about uh is things like leering stalker neutral good um Temple Mecca, hostile. See, now that's a that's a little bad. That's bad. Now, not to I I don't I I disagree with the fact that these are here. I don't know why they're here. It might be that they're just it's just coincidental. But if they're here because this is a robot facility and they are technically counted as robots, I do kind of disagree with that notion because they aren't robots they're they're i mean i don't know really this is very quickly going to become a philosophical debate because the thing the, the the problem is is that i guess they're te they're machines but they're not robots because they're not autonomous they're being controlled by the putus templar 
so um technically they should be under the Pewtis templar faction as far as i'm concerned it looks like um they are getting very thoroughly destroyed which is nice i'm just kind of strolling over to the staircase down i can't not do this i'm sorry this is the this this is the most likely thing to absolutely destroy us you know if there's anything in that could destroy this run this would be it but i have to i have to look i have to go down it's it's pandora's box right here this is a layer this is a layer to a legendary chrome pyramid how can you not Okay, so again, there's a lot of mecha here. Um, I I have to wonder why. I kind of want to just like let this sort itself out, but you know, definitely a couple of these guys are making their way down here. Can, I wonder how we, how how equipped are we for dealing with these guys? They seem to take damage. Um, Quantum Moat was cracked. So they have the... Uh, I wonder if this guy has the potential to dismember us, given a bad roll. They are hurting us. So let's, um, back off a bit and start shooting. And then we started blasting, you know? I wish I could push this guy away. Okay, I might just have to commit. Ow. Oh, wait, never mind. Um, they flashbanged me. Oh, I'm not shooting them. Okay. What was that to our east? This is so dangerous. <laughs> this is so insanely dangerous. I do wish, uh, I wish our Sunder Mind would work on the mecha, because technically we could send Sunder the Mind of the pilot. Force bubble on. Stay the heck away from me, bud. I think that these these guys with the swords have the potential to hurt us, but everything else is like whatever. I love the little ejecting animation so much. Let's turn this back on. I want to keep an eye on how things are going upstairs or like just around. Um, these guys don't seem to be doing too much damage. This guy. Ooh. Well, never mind, actually. I noticed our force field is actually uh, partially destroyed. Oh, we got EMP'd. Uh, let's go ahead and swipe this guy's weapon out. You must have a long. Oh, we have a pickaxe equipped. Oops. Is he dead? What an actual disaster. It's really hard to tell who's winning in this uh, kerfuffle. Certainly the Pewtis Templar are doing that. They're, they're putting up a good fight. Okay, are we still EMP'd? Our quantum moat is still cracked. Um, if anything can help us, it's the master defense. Masterwork a defense uh, drone like that just helps immensely. Let's equip our stinger. I Might have to I don't know. I, I don't know how I'm feeling about the stinger anymore It's clairvoyance. I kind of just want to like avoid this whole room. <laughs> I Love that so much The little eject is is one of my favorite things Seems like the Pewtis Templar are, uh, 
getting getting slammed a little bit. I do feel like our gun would do more damage to these mech than um, our stinger because even though it's 12 pen on the stinger, the gun itself has infinite pen like it meets the AV. So I don't I, I feel like we, you know, let me just confirm honestly. Yeah, 19 damage right away. Ah, someone EMP'd me again. Gosh darn. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna mosey on by. Also, decarbonizes control unit. Does that count as a Hamza, do you think? Or like a part? That could be cool. Yeah, <laughs> you missed me, bud. Nice try. In fact, you just gave me a wall. Okay, I think uh, I think our weapon is back. Oh yeah, they're they're super dead. Oh, they were implanted. They they probably have some goodies. Uh, don't know if I picked up anything. I think I did. I'm thinking I should leave. Or at least go down to the next floor. Vast animus, huh? Ooh, chrome pyramid right to my south. Might have to dig some walls in this uh on this floor. There they is. There they is. There is our legendary chrome pyramid. What is their reputation? Loved by robots. Hated by highland tropic beings. Kind of sucks. Admired by vines. If ever I was going to make friends with anyone, it would be a legendary chrome pyramid. Honestly, if I have enough uh, reputation, I wouldn't mind. What's going on here? How come I can't move? Oh, whoops. Uh, if I could have them join me, I would kind of like to do that. We didn't get we didn't get to uh, credit for killing the vast animus. Why is the legendary chrome pyramid not force field? Oh, now they are. Okay. I'm just going to kind of watch how this plays out. See, uh the the mech being counted as robots right now, it, it's causing shenanigans. Because clearly the Pewtis Templar and the robots are not friends. One of the best reasons to let this play out is not only... I mean, the, the robots are going to take care of the Pewtis Templar for me. Uh, I don't run the risk of, like, accidentally shooting a robot and then being completely nuked from space. But also, uh, anyone that the Pewtis Templar is lucky enough to destroy will drop some very good things for us. I do think that the Chrome Pyramids have a new animation in the current build. I'm not sure if that's true. I love the look of the Chrome Pyramids so much. Do they count as gigantic, by the way? I've, this is a gigantic is a relatively new thing. Space and time rattle off their hinges and tear your perception apart. Through the new crosshatch of consciousness, sound only comes in, through in waves. The sheen of chrome explodes in supernova, and you slowly become aware of the furrowed volume of air around the shape of a monstrous pyramid. But hard to tell. Are they gigantic? Do they count as gigantic? They should. That's uh, honestly... I I'm just really enjoying watching this play out. There's a very small chance that uh, the legendary Chrome Pyramid could get destroyed, and uh, you'd hate to see it. But, um... What? Well, I guess, you know, Chrome Pyramids in combat do not mess around. Oh, uh, I will not stand for not seeing this play out. But I guess we have eight turns left on our clairvoyance, so... Harmlessly off C C one C.
Pewter's Templar are almost dead. It looks like two cro two oh Okay, so that kind of answers the question. The Carbonizer just incinerated a Chrome Pyramid. Kind of sucks how much stuff is being destroyed. Weird artifact is destroyed. I think that's it. I think we're good now. Forgive me, robots, uh, for not joining in the, the, the combat, but, um... You know, honestly, how damaged is the legendary? <laughs> They're fine. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not going to mess with that. I, I, you know, did the thought cross my mind? Sure. But like, you know, what then what do we do about the other Chrome Pyramid? Oh, I have to get to them quickly, actually. I'm, I'm going to do a rare sprint. Because uh, Chrome legendary Chrome Pyramids are very difficult to speak to. The only reason I'm going to be able to is because there were Pewtis Templar here just blowing up their force field. Otherwise, I, I, I don't know how I would be able to talk to them. Hello, Chrome Pyramid. Boop, beep, boop. I would ask for nothing less, honestly. I will exchange some oil with you and gain... Uh, we, we don't have anywhere near the kind of reputation we need. How much to join me? 752. Well, at least we do get a little bit of reputation with robots because we do have some information that they care about. Iron Mind. What? What is Iron? Oh, is that an endurance thing? What is Iron Mind? Uh, hold on a second. <clears throat> this is why I have the wiki open on the other each round you are confused you have a willpower uh, Minus 10% chance to shake up. Oh, it's okay. Well, whatever It's that's a big big whatever. I'm afraid Well, that was really cool. Oh What's in the chest? <laughs> Nothing Still have uh, some lingering mech here. Oh. What, what is it to our northwest? Oh, we've got some, uh, we've got some parts. Templar face. Uh, before you object violently in my comments about making any part of the Pewtis Templar part of my golem, uh, Please understand that I would only do so for the potential effects. If they're not worth it, I won't take it at all. Think of it like a, uh, it's like bragging rights. It's like, uh, you know, don't mess with me or I will make you part of my golem. <laughs> I shouldn't, uh, I honestly, I shouldn't say it. most people like anyone who uh, understands my stance and cut is, is very chill in my comments. So um, I shouldn't really uh, say hyperbolically how people feel about the Pewtis Templar because I agree with all of it. Um, it's just, uh, I guess I, I, I maybe object to it, so. Let's see, how close are we? We're almost there. We're we're gonna get there and then uh and then we will end the episode at Chava. What a cool thing though. That's a new new first and a new best. A layer to a legendary chrome pyramid. Hard to top that. Really hard to top that. I kind of wish that I could have seen that before or maybe after uh, the Pewtis Templar faction thing was implemented and or fixed. I, I don't think it's intended that they're part of the robot faction. I, I, I really find it hard to believe. It doesn't feel intended. It feels like the kind of thing that will be fixed in the future. Or maybe not. I don't know. Like, 
but it's it's one of the few things I, I I kind of find hard to believe that is intended. So where's Chavo? Oh, it's southeast. Okay, so we're going we're going southeast. Can we just go there? All right, I cheesed it. Sorry, I cheesed it. Oh God, there's a tur turtle here, and they're not cool with us. They actually had a, a little bit of a chance to um, send us out of here after all the time we spent. Oh no, they actually did it. They succeeded. Ah, you, <sighs> you garbage man. Damn. Where are we? Oh, we're so far away. Stupid tortoise. Notice some ruins. Yeah, I want to investigate some ruins. Fine. Yeah, all right. We'll investigate some ruins. Hostiles nearby. I, I promise you there ain't no hostiles that matter. Yeah, all right. We'll check out some ruins. Um, I should just re recoil to eat freehold. Ah, all right. Well, I guess we'll end the episode anyway. I really wanted to end the episode uh, at Chava, but a tortoise got in my way. Uh, such as, you know, cud. Uh, I'll go and do a bit of uh, trading with the merchants between episodes, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Hit the like button, do all that stuff. I'll see ya. Take it easy. Have a good one.